Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Appalachian Home Co and today's video is going to be super fun. We're just going to be making some simple Christmas ornaments using some acrylic blanks that I just got from Amazon and Tech Wrap Craft sent me some brand new colors and I'm loving them so we're going to be trying those out today. I have some really pretty chrome colors. This one is like a hot pink chrome so I also have a gold chrome, so that's going to work great for Christmas ornaments. So we're going to go ahead and get started and jump on in making these ornaments. Here are the materials that I'm going to be using. TechRap actually sent me some smart vinyl, so this is not going to require a cutting mat when we use our Cricut Maker 3. So I have some pretty chrome colors. I also have some olive green in a matte finish. They have matte vinyl as well and this is also smart vinyl but I also am going to be using just some regular tech wrap as well. I'm going to be using this little weeding pen. This is so neat. It comes out in a weeding tip and of course I'm going to be using a squeegee and a cutting mat for the vinyl that is not smart vinyl. And here are the designs I'm going to be using. So I'm going to be using Cricut Design Space. I already have these designs. I will link some of these to you guys down in the description. And here are some more. These are the ones that I found on Etsy. And they are so cute. I can't wait to do these. Some of these are going to require a mat. And some of these are not. But I'm going to show you how to use both for these ornaments. When it asks how you'll load your materials, I'm going to select multiple ways. That way I can manually change these on the left. The ones that are not smart materials, I can go ahead and use my cutting mat. And then the ones that are smart materials, it's going to tell you how much material you need. So this one has to be at least six inches in length to cut out the design. So once you have all of those ready to go, you're going to select your material. Here are the two material settings I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the Smart Vinyl Permanent in the Cricut materials, but I did have to change this for Tech Wrap. I'm also going to be using a Tech Wrap craft vinyl setting for the regular that is not smart vinyl. To change material settings, you want to go under your materials and go all the way down to the bottom of the list to smart vinyl. I had to change the settings here because the smart vinyl permanent was set all the way down on 120. So in order to cut this chrome smart vinyl that TechRap makes, I had to change both of these settings to 250 and a two times cut. And in order to do that, you just want to go to the edit button here on the right and you can drag this up and down. You definitely want to remember what your setting was the first time, but in the drop down box, I'm changing it to a two times cut and I moved that bar up to 250 and it's gonna be different for the mat. Here is a list of all of my pressure settings I use for my machine if you want to screenshot this really quickly. But for the Tech Wrap Smart Vinyl, all the ones that are metallic chrome, I had to use a pressure of 250 and a two times cut. And then for the Tech Wrap Craft Smart Vinyl, we're gonna be using in that olive green today. This is in a matte finish. I used a pressure of 250 and a one times cut. And then last for all other tech wrap craft vinyl, just regular vinyl, I always use a pressure of 220 and just a regular one times cut. So that's everything I'm gonna be using today. If you wanna start out with those settings, then that's a good starting point for you. I'm gonna start out with regular vinyl on the mat and you wanna make sure and remove all the film off of tech wrap vinyl, especially the matte vinyls have a protective film over top of the vinyl. To put Smart Vinyl into your Cricut Maker 3, you just want to simply slide your vinyl roll under those two little guides on each side of the machine and hit the load button. It's super simple. And then again, on this tech wrap, I had to remove that top layer of protective covering. Now I have all of the decals cut. We're going to go ahead and weed all of these and get those on to our acrylic blanks. These blanks are four inch acrylic and they do have a hole in them to use as ornaments. So I'm going to be making this countdown to Christmas ornament. I'm just going to be placing a black background and I'm just popping that acrylic on there. Don't do that. <laughs> because it leaves air bubbles. Um, you'll see here in just a second, a better way to place vinyl on the acrylic blanks. Just place it up at the top and use your squeegee to kind of squeeze out all the air bubbles as you go. But I'm using the 
black glitter vinyl from Tech Wrap, and this is a satin red, so this is perfect for Christmas. The middle part I'm going to leave open. Um, you can use a paint pen or a chalk pen to mark your countdown to Christmas days, and then I'm just using the coconut white vinyl for all of the white parts. This design did come from Etsy and I'll try to leave her shop down in the description to all of these designs and I just modified it a little bit to fit these acrylic blanks and then this last little green Christmas was the smart vinyl in the olive green. Also I wanted to mention I didn't show it in this video but you do want to remove the protective coating from these blanks before you place any vinyl or else your vinyl is just going to come off with that coating but at least remove one side when you're working on these so that your vinyl sticks. Now we're using this chrome vinyl and I wanted to do a nativity theme especially with this mirrored light gold. This is again smart vinyl and I thought it would be so pretty to do a nativity theme in this gold and it did turn out so pretty so if you are into more of the chrome and gold colors this is perfect and this one I thought would be good in a snowflake theme this is the cool blue mirrored chrome and this is also in the smart vinyl version but if you love blue in your Christmas decor then this color would be perfect for you I'm going to go ahead and transfer these on I am using a strong grip transfer tape for this chrome and especially with the smart vinyl i don't know if you've noticed when you use cricut's smart vinyl but with any smart vinyl i've ever used the backing on this is super super thick and it is a little bit harder to get off than the regular vinyl so you just want to be careful and take your time i'm just kind of going letter by letter and image by image and removing the backing This turned out so pretty again I'm loving the gold color this is gonna make such pretty Christmas ornaments even Christmas gifts this would be a great idea for that Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up these last two ornaments. This is in that black glitter vinyl and in the red satin, this Be Merry. This is also a design I got from Etsy. I also wanted to mention that I do have a coupon code for anyone who is interested in trying out this Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl. I love all of their colors and I really, it is really good quality vinyl. So definitely don't forget to check for that coupon code in the description box below this video. The coupon code will be good through November 7th. I think this video is going to go up on November 3rd. So you have a few days to enjoy getting some money off for Tech Wrap materials. So I'll also leave some links for the other products I'm using in this video like the acrylic blanks as well.
I hope everyone has enjoyed this video and this has given you some ideas to do this Christmas for DIYing your own ornaments. Thank you guys so much for watching all of my content, including this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you will consider subscribing. I have all kinds of content just like this on my channel, dozens of videos on Cricut and vinyl and all kinds of DIY projects. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you back again in my next video.